You got to keep putting that word in you. Keep letting God transform you. And all of a sudden, you'll look up and realize, wait a minute, I'm changing. I'm not, I'm not the person I used to be. When you would at one time cuss a person out, now you feel convicted just to think about cussing. That's when you know it's working in you. When any man or woman could get your attention and lure you away into sexual perversion, and now you look at it and say, I don't want that anymore. A transformation is taking place. Okay, let me hit real home, real simple. For somebody be like, that ain't my that ain't my issue. When you get tempted to lie, when that transformation begins to take place, a conviction will come over you in a powerful way that you say, I can't even lie. I just got to take the consequences, whatever they are. That's when you know you're being transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, some people grew up in environments where some stuff was just okay. Mama brought different guys home, you know, every other month. So now I'm grown. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I can bring me somebody home every other month. Y'all hear me? Let's go on. Mm -hmm. Mama used men for money, so guess what? I'm going to use them for money. Use what you got to get what you want. Right? Me and I don't want to work. I'm going to give me a woman to take care of me. I'm just going to work on my game. I'm going to talk good to her, make her feel good. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? They tell me somebody just stole like $1.5 million in product through FedEx and some other company. Unrenewed mind. You mean to tell me you done got up to a, over a million dollars in merchandise and you ain't got no kind of conviction? Mind need to be renewed. See, when you can do stuff and just keep doing it and it don't bother you, that means your mind needs to be renewed. Hear me now. Let me give y'all a warning. Don't ignore the Holy Ghost. When that conviction comes into your life, what is the conviction? It's just, it, you may hear, I hear, I, at this stage of my life, I hear, don't do that. Don't say that. And then you might just get a feeling, uh, an uneasy feeling. You don't have peace about it. Like, I, I really shouldn't do that. It's just a feeling. Listen to it. Because it's the Holy Ghost. And hear me now. He's not going to grab you, take hold of your body, and make you do anything. But if you keep overriding Him, you're going to come to a place where you don't even recognize Him anymore. Your ears will go dull to His voice. He'll be saying, don't do it. But you can't hear him because you've tuned him out. And he'll be trying to save your life. But you've made up your mind for so long, I'm going to do what I want to do. That now you're out there on your own. It's like taking a square and putting it in a circle. And turning it. As long as you turn that square, eventually it's not supposed to turn. <laughs> but if you keep forcing it, the corners are going to rub off of it. Until eventually, it looks just like the circle. And you don't know the difference anymore. And let me tell you, don't get to that place. Don't get to that place. Because then you start to wonder, God, have you turned me over to a reprobate? I've been there. I was caught up in something. And I wouldn't stop. And God was telling me to stop. And it got to a point. Let me help you now. Because some of y'all think, well, I won't even know it's wrong anymore. No, I got to a place where I still knew what I was doing was wrong. I just had no more conviction about it. I knew up here 
it was wrong. But in here, I didn't sense the conviction of God anymore. And I had to fall on my knees and say, Father, give me my conviction back. Give me my conviction back. Because I don't want to be comfortable in sin and die and go to hell. When we repent, repent means to have a change of heart. No longer on this by flag of the saints. It is a change of heart, a change of mind, change of direction. Here's what I was doing. I was saying, Lord, please forgive me out of my mouth because of what I knew. But it wasn't in my heart, so I kept going back doing what I wanted to do. Until God brought real conviction, genuine conviction back into my life.